Hey guys, I just listened to Flower Shops, the album, Sad Boy Summer, 10 minute version, Taylor's version. So truth be told, I kinda just wanted to ignore this album a little bit in terms of reviewing it. But he's associated with Morgan Wallen, so I feel a sense of obligation to cover him and his album. Whatever Morgan touches seems to be the talking point for better or for worse, and that includes this album. Ernest is an interesting character when it comes to his impact on country music. I find him severely underrated and also not that good at the same time. When the man puts his mind to it, you get masterpieces like Wondering About the Wind, and when he doesn't, you get his entire first studio album, which in case you don't know, I'm not a fan of. Imagine if Kenny Chesney tried to make songs aimed for TikTok users, and you essentially have Ernest's entire debut album. They didn't offer really anything worthwhile, and I was ready to give him the boot in terms of interest. But then, American Rust intrigued me. While flawed, it definitely seemed like Ernest wanted to get away from that era of his career pretty substantially, given the abrupt departure from his previous previous work. He began working on the blockbuster Dangerous by Morgan Wallen and penned hits like Wasted on You and More Than My Hometown. As a whole, in terms of the central trio of Morgan, Hardy, and Ernest, Ernest seemed like he was making a name for himself despite his association with Morgan. But alas, I jinxed myself. I shouldn't make this review about Morgan, but Ernest himself really wants to make this album about Morgan. He's touring with Morgan, how you get two songs with Morgan, how this album sounds like Morgan, and there's like a slight annoyance in my mind with how much Morgan and his presence and influence is emphasized on this album. Even the first song feels like a ripoff of More Surprise Than Me and More Than My Hometown at the same time. first thing I should actually talk about is probably Flower Shops itself, which really faded on me, truth be told. I actually didn't touch this again until now, now that I have the entire album. Structurally, it's fine and nothing has changed, but dear god, the performance is just so flat and way more than I remember. It makes it such an irritation because I really want to like this song, and with its vocals, it makes it so hard to do so. And the acoustics harmonies are far more memorable than the studio grade. I respect the song and its ambitions, and mostly look down upon its execution. Regardless of how I feel for the album as a whole, this album truth be told feels like Little Wallen Jr. The amount of influence Morgan has from his vocal dialect to sound and tone borders on ridiculous for a lot of this album. It feels less like inspiration and more so emulation. And while I don't think these songs are truly bad, in fact I really, really do like a bit of them, they just felt like leftovers from Wallen's album and I would have rather just had the songs done by Wallen who is a more talented artist in every shape and form. Ernest's vocal performance for the most part is pleasant enough and actually shines through greatly through songs like Feet Wanna Run, but I just had this little voice in my head saying the songs would have been way better under Morgan. Feet Wanna Run feels like it was ripped out of Seven Summers and it's not really a homage, it just feels like trend chasing to sell the way Morgan does, rather than make a name for yourself based off your own artistic merit. I didn't want to come out of the gate saying this many negative things because by all all means, Feet Wanna Run is a great song individually and out of context is a strong piece of music for Ernest. But when you look at what he was to what he's become now, you begin to put two and two together that this is just expanding this new brand of country I'm calling frat boy country. In a similar fashion to how FGL was the king of bro country and Dan and Shay were for boyfriend country. I'm being too critical on the actual respectable music, so for the rest of the review, I'm just gonna try to judge the music without this context in mind and bring that context back at the end of the video. So Feet Wanna Run is a whole banger of a song. There's this almost mystical seaside vibe that allows me to visualize a sunset based off the music itself which is truly impressive and I love when songs are capable of doing that by using expression of music to tell the story without actual dialogue. There's also such a major emphasis on Steel here and it's greatly appreciated. Similar to how Party's albums are centered around fiddle, Ernest loves Steel and it provides a great amount of emotional expression where words can never do it justice. Leading into some truly exceptional moments I just outright enjoy wholeheartedly. Comfortable When I'm Crazy is just a beautiful and lush song and the steel accompanies some truly exceptional lines. The emotional capability comes off strong in this and if you were the whiskey. This isn't like other albums that just think if they shove steel in, it'll sound good. This is an album that knows how to use steel effectively and largens the critical prowess hidden in these songs. Even with simple songs like Tennessee Queen, like sure, in hindsight the story is nothing special, but it's the execution of it all that makes it stand out so much. With a handful of some of these tracks, it's some of the best country orchestration in recent memory for a mainstream setting. Ernest himself actually does have some minor individuality as a vocalist shines through a few times, especially when he's not in a high range which is pretty enjoyable in comparison to his other work. But while it does have its admirable and even stellar traits, there's a fair amount of these songs that are just plain boring. 
because while this album takes major influences from the best parts of Morgan Wallen's music, it also takes some of the worst, with these shallow songs that underutilize pretty much all the musical potential, especially in the vocal department. Some Other Bar just really regresses a lot of the good ideas with this almost whiny performance, and while the song and story is fine, with the promise of a romantic interest catching up, the storytelling feels plotless, like it just doesn't go anywhere interesting or really anywhere at all. Remember how people complained about the vague actions in bro country like doing what we do? Well... Do I need to say it? On the production end, there's even a few hints at laziness with some of the songs as well. Comfortable When I'm Crazy has a sudden reverb in the more isolated moments, which in the beginning sounds incredibly off, but makes sense once the full ensemble kicks in. Like, you could've fixed that in the beginning, but it makes it feel like a rushed out song. This is more so an attack on Joey Moy because Ernest and his band killed it. In some of the more country-esque moments in terms of instrumentation, there actually can be a sense of artificial nature to them, making the actually interesting musical aspects feel inauthentic. Even the freaking mediocre John Party song had an authentic feel. There's a solid direction on a lot of this album, and I just feel like these songs make itself stumble over a noticeable amount of times. As a whole, Flower Shops was a good album. An album I'd say is pretty equal to Dangerous in terms of its memorability, with its songwriting and production, and takes upon some of its greatest strengths, yet also some of its most notable failures. Most people tuning into this record are Morgan fans with a toxic parasocial relationship, and are here just for Morgan and don't actually care about the solid stuff Ernest provided on this album. Ernest isn't allowed to stand on his own merits, he's allowed to stand on Morgan's. But I personally believe it does offer up some worthy tracks, of which I'll keep listening to for a while. I just hope the accomplishments found here are a bit of a wake-up call for Ernest to evolve into his own artist. He's an artist with a lot of potential, and I don't think he quite tapped in fully on this record. Rating-wise, I'm feeling a light 7 out of 10 on Flower Shops. Here's to a promising career, my boy.